giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the fun. fun. First updates now, FRC is produced in partnership with the Blue Alliance. Keep up to date on all live and archive first robotics events and team stats at thebluealliance.com. And by viewers like you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Snake, he might be muted. <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, good evening. Welcome to episode four of the Mouth of the South recap that covers events in Texas, Arkansas, Kansas, Oklahoma, Alabama, Missouri, Tennessee, and Louisiana. Tonight, we're going to take a look at the week three action in the South, as well as looking forward to the upcoming week four competitions in Louisiana, Missouri, and Texas. We'll also take a look at the latest addition to the prank war between 148, the Robo Wranglers, and 118, the Robonauts. Reporting for first updates now, I'm Marco. I'm Colin. I'm Jeff. And I'm Nick. There we go. <laughs> All right, um, so before we get into the thick of the show, we have a giveaway from for the show, uh, thanks to Redfish Robotics for with their first updates now logo mugs. Tyler, why don't you talk us about, talk about it? So yeah, if you guys haven't been watching the show, we do have some sweet giveaways from our friends at Redfish Robotics, who have created this uh, first update style mug for us. Uh, so if you're interested in winning it, uh, we're going to give you a keyword in just a second. You can also check all these out at tinyurl.com forward slash Redfish Robotics. And we're just going to keep rolling with the same keyword we had before. You will have to retype it in if you already had it uh, before as well. But it's just fun mug, F-U-N-M-U-G, one word. We'll get you an opportunity to win uh, this mug starting now. Uh, we'll do the drawing near the end of the show. If you're interested in winning, you have to make sure you click the follow button and follow the channel. Or if you'd like to have five times luck, click the subscribe button. You can do so for free through Twitch Prime. Or for just a few bucks a month, help support the stream and you get five times luck for doing so. So good luck, everybody. And enjoy our uh, Mouth of the South show. All right. Thanks, Tyler. So this week, there were five exciting events across the South. Let's start by heading to the heart of Dixie, where probably the most diverse set of teams this week competed. So how did things go in Huntsville, Marco? Thanks. Yeah, well, the Rocket City Regional featured 55 teams from 14 different states and a team from Brazil. Uh, surprisingly, Rocket City also saw teams from more than four different district systems, which is not something you see every day, especially in the middle of the season. As the qualification matches played out, it became clear that we were looking at a four-team race for the number one seed. Topping the team list on the field and on the Blue Alliance is Team 16 Bomb Squad from Mountain Home, Arkansas. Playing in their second event in two weeks, Bomb Squad rally, really amped up their game and was the number one seed after all 92 qual matches were played. With an impressive RP average of 2.8, uh, Team 16 was part of one quarter of all the four RP matches at the event and consistently hit their level three climb. With their first pick, Bomb Squad picked up the Indiana District team and IRI host, 234 Cyber Blue, who was the perfect complement to 16 by uh, consistently doing better than them in Sandstorm, Hatches, and in their climbs. That duo would scoop up 4013 Clockwork Mania to round off their alliance and cruise all the way into the finals. On the other side of the bracket, we saw the Palmetto Regional winners 4451 Robots Garage captain the second seed alliance with an average RP of 2.8. Only 10 cargo game pieces separated Robots Garage from 16 for that number one spot. Um, Robots Garage would go on to select uh, 364 Team Fusion out of Gulfport, Mississippi. Fusion has really exploded out of the gate this season as Rocket City was their first regional of the year. Their top-ranked cargo play placed them at the top of the scoreboard and had them ranked first in OPR at 37. Quarterfinals went as planned as all top-ranked alliances has moved on. In the semis, the number one seed beat the number four seed of 38-14, 14-21, and 21-83. The number two seed stumbled a bit, but pulled out ahead and beat the number three alliance composed of 3, 4, 2, 27, and 37, 92. In the finals, we saw things get serious as those matches saw back-to-back -back high scores set for the tournament. 
the underdog number two alliance of Robots Garage, Fusion, and 7072 Ogre were simply overpowering and took home the win with scores of 92 to 77 and 97 to 45. Uh, second alliance really looked like a well-oiled machine and, and really took it to the number one alliance. Congrats to the winning alliance as well as to 4451, who took home their fourth banner of the season with a double Kling Bling Chairman's Award and tournament win. Also, congratulations to 3792, the Army Ants, for winning the Engineering Inspiration Award. Now let's send it over to Colin. Thank you. Uh, 36 teams converged in Kansas this weekend for the Heartland Regional. With 72 qualifications, each team blessed with 12 matches. Coming to this regional, I had a very high hope for the level of competition. While there were a lot of really strong teams, no one even came close to completing a rocket in, in any of the qualification matches. At the end of qualifications, it was 5801 CTC Inspire who ranked number one with a consistent performance and the ability to climb to level three of the HAB. Just below them, ranked number two, was Evergreen Kansas City Powerhouse Team 1986 Team Titanium, who also had a very well-built robot that could quickly ascend to level three. These two teams to team up alongside 1827, the Hive, to form the number one alliance. This alliance would win quarters and face off against the number four alliance, captained by Team 935 Rally Robotics, who picked up 6907 The Goat out of Shanghai, China, and Team 5126 EMP. Both teams are fairly even, evenly matched on papers, but what does what? But the thing that does not show up on paper was a 200 IQ defense that 5126 played, which completely shut down Team Titanium in the second match, limiting, limiting them to only one cargo scored in the entirety of Teleop. As a result, the number four alliance shocked the audience and pulled off the upset to move into the finals. On the other side of the bracket, the number three alliance was upset by the number six alliance of 1825, the Cyborgs, 7785 Mechanical Mustangs, and 1710 in, in the quarterfinals. They would go on to face the number two alliance of 1730 Team Driven, 4522 Team Scream, and 2560 Robodog. The number two alliance was able to overpower their opponents and move on to the finals. However, in the second semifinal matchup, Team Scream's drive train completely broke down, meaning they had to be subbed out for the final matches. Uh, finals one was a nail biter, with both teams' scores staying neck and neck until the end. A C8 call, C8 violation was called in in the first match but it didn't make a difference as the number four alliance took finals one with by only two points 60 to 50 60 to 58 finals two was just as close even though uh 51 26 emp failed to move after the sandstorm due to, tr to due to what looked like a drive chain issue the difference maker was a, a clutch last second climb by team 935 which put their alliance up nine nine points to win 64 to 55 congratulations to the winning alliance of 1730 to the winning alliance and also to 1730 and 4522 who earned wild cards. I also want to congratulate team 2220 Blue Twilight for winning EI and 3284 Camden and Lasers for winning the Chairman's Award. And with that, I'm going to move on to the St. Louis Regional, that which happened this past weekend, where 48 teams battled it out for the Blue Blue Banner. The depth of of robots was really solid at the competition, which really surprised me because uh, not not a lot of powerhouses ended up coming to that this event, but uh, I, I really saw a lot of robots step up that I haven't seen before. Uh, through qualifications, it was a close race for the top spot, but in the end, it was 1658 tech, tech heads who took the number one seed with an average rank score of 2.8. They would pick Team 1259 Paradigm Shift and Team 7747 Hancock High Tech to cap off the number one alliance. The only upset of the bracket was the number three alliance of 1501 Team Thrust, uh, team 4500 Robo Hounds and 6391 Ursuline Bearbotics, who overcame the number two alliance in semis thanks to an offensive strategy since their third robot was 6391 was an incredible steal that late into the draft. In finals, the number three alliance stuck to their guns and pulled out pulled out all, all three of the robots for offense and completely outscored the, the number one alliance. Uh, finals one went 77 to 59, and finals two was 87 to 56. Congratulations to the winning alliance once again, and shout out to Team 4213 Metal Cal Robotics for their first engineering inspiration win, and to Team 4329 Lutheran Robotics for winning their first ever Chairman's Award. Now on to Nick. Thanks, Colin. All right, for our, sec for our first event this week in the first in Texas district, we're going to take a short trip east of Houston to Channel View, Texas. 37 teams showed up to Team 7418's Channel View High School with visions of gold in their heads, with the favorites for the gold being 624 Kryptonite, coming off a Week 1 victory in Austin, as well as 1477 Texas Torque, 4587 Jersey Voltage, and 231 High Voltage. 
this would be the first play for those three as well as 29 other teams at this event. After 70 qualification matches, it would be none of those teams in the top spot, but rather Team 2582 Pantherbots with their moonwalking, leapfrogging machine that would take the pole by rank four, by four ranking points over the second ranked 5892 Energy Heroes and five ranking points over third ranked Team 5414 Paradox. In alliance selection, 2582 would give 231 the nod for the first overall pick, 5892 would pick up Kryptonite. Uh, 5414 would pick up Jersey Voltage, and the number four Alliance captain of 15, Team 5261 Cybershock would pick up Texas Stork. The quarterfinals, um, Alliances 1 through 4 would all move on with ease, with only the 4 versus the 5 matchup going to 3 matches. However, semifinals would tell a different tale. The 4 Alliance would sweep the number one Alliance out, earning a spot into the finals for 5261, 1477, and 7494 Circuit Berserkers. Um, and then the 2v3 matchups, first match would be taken by the 3 Alliance, led by Paradox, but that alliance, but that would be the Alliance's only win in this round, with the number 2 Alliance of 5892, 624, and 3834 Crabbots moving on to the finals to face the 4 Alliance. Finals match 1 was a pretty common match of Destination Deep Space, presented by the Bone Company. It would be the second Alliance's 9 cargo point advantage, along with a level 3 and a level 2 climb that would put them over by a score of 68 to 46. Finals 2 would have 58-92 going for the climb super early in the match, after what appeared to be drivetrain issues, while 624 continued to play the cargo ship. The thing that really put the two Alliance over the top were two tech fouls that were assessed to team 5261 on the Red Alliance for crossing the cargo ship line twice in Sandstorm. In the end, those fouls made the big difference, allowing the number two alliance to win with a score of 84 to 58. Congratulations to Team 5892 Energy Heroes, 624 Kryptonite, and 3834 Crabbots for picking up the event win. Also, a huge congratulations to Team 1477 Texas Torque for picking up the Engineering and Inspiration Award, giving them a double red cling bling. And congrats to Team 5427 Steel Talons for picking up the Chairman's Award. Jeff, why don't you tell us how Plano won? Thanks, Nick. For our final event in the South in Week 3, we're heading to Plano, Texas, just north of Dallas, where 35 teams competed for the gold. This Week 3 event was already the second district event for, for the year for some teams, such as 2714 Barbecue, finalists at Austin, and 6144 AngelBots Gold, second seed at Amarillo. However, this was also the first event for several notables, including 5431 Titan Robotics and 7179 Crossfire. After 70 qualification matches, all four of these teams would either captain an alliance or be the first pick of an alliance. 5431 secured the number one seed with 31 ranking points and a match record of 11 wins and one tie. They, were, they would go on to select 2714 Barbecue as their first pick and round out their alliance with 4192 Jaguar Robotics. The number one alliance would breeze into finals, defeating the number eight and number four alliance in the quarterfinals and semifinals in just two matches each, with an average winning margin of around 30 points. On the other side of the bracket, however, the number six alliance of 7179 Crossfire, 2848 Rangers, and 5057 Robobusters pulled off the upset against the number three alliance in the quarterfinals and took the semifinals against the number two alliance at three matches, but they were unfortunately unable to keep up with the number two alliance's climbing capabilities. In finals match one, the number one alliance faced off against the number two alliance of 6144 AngelBots Gold, 4610 Bear Tex, and 4364 Metal Jackets. The number one alliance quickly filled the cargo ship and began working on each rocket despite heavy defense. Though 6144 had a level three climb for the number two alliance, 5431 offset this with their own level 3 climb. In addition, 4192 had a level 2 climb. Finals 1 ended with a win for the number 1 alliance with a score of 80 to 59. In finals match 2, the number 2 alliance tried to defend against the number 1 alliance, but the number 1 alliance's 4192 thwarted this effort with a fantastic display of counter defense ability. And though the number one alliance wasn't able to completely fill the cargo ship, 5431's level three climb, 4192's level two climb, and 2714's ability to yeet onto the level two platform ultimately secured the win for the number one alliance with a final score of 82 to 62. Congrats to the winning alliance of 5431 Titan Robotics, 27 bar 2714 Barbecue, and 4192 Jaguar Robotics. 
A huge congratulations to both 6144 for their double silver Kling Bling with the Event Runner-Up and Engineering Inspiration Award, and to 5431 Titan Robotics for their double gold Kling Bling with the Event Win and Chairman's Award. And we'll have a Behind the Bumpers interview with 7179 Crossfire posted on First Updates Now's YouTube page later this week, so be sure to keep an eye out for the inside scoop on this amazing team. All right, so for next up on the show, we're going to do the top 10 for the South region. Uh, is that going to be pulled up? So, rank, rank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so rank number one, with uh, to, to, no, to no one's surprise, is Team 118 Robonauts, winners of the Arizona North Regional. Uh, rank number two is 16 Bomb Squad finalists at the Rocket City Regional. Number three, 624 Kryptonite, winners at Channel View. Uh, number four, 231 High Voltage. Number five, 364 Team Fusion, winners at Rock, Rocket City Regional. Number six is Team Titanium 1986. Uh, number seven is 1477 Texas Torque. Coming in number eight is 4063 Tricks Are for Kids. And at number nine is 5431 Titan Robotics, winners at Plano District Events. And Rounding it out at number 10, 5892 Energy Heroes, winners at Channel View District. Uh, do, do we have any discussion on this? Um, I think it's pretty spot on. I mean, obviously, Texas heavy, um, as we normally see when we have uh, some of the big teams playing. But I think for me, and, and we'll get into that here in a second, Robonauts, clearly number one. They were amazing at Arizona North. Um, and so I think that's that's the right answer there. Yeah, like for me, the top two rankings make a lot of sense. And then past there, I do agree with the teams that are on the top 10, but I feel like some of them should be a little higher and some should be a little lower. Um, but I can discuss that in a minute. Yeah, I, I mean, I think the order was pretty good. Um, you know, the team that definitely stood out to me was 364. Um, you know, they went 15 and 1 at Rocket City. Uh, they ended up winning the event with Robots Garage, a Southeast team. Uh, their climb is really good. It's all automated, which won them innovation and control. And uh, their intake's also really good. I, I totally agree. Um, very quickly, I think we're going to run through the, our predictions for the top 25. All right. So um, my prediction is that 5431 Titan Robotics in memory of Jordan Grant will make it. They had a really good showing at Plano with the event win and the Chairman's Award. And they also have the most points earned in Texas at a single event so far. Yeah, I mean, like I said earlier, uh, for me, it's got to be 364. Um, they were super solid at Rocket City, um, and I expect them to only get better as the season goes on as the drivers get more practice with the robot. Yeah, I, I took the easy way out with 118. There were 16 to 0 at Arizona <laughs> North at 3.6 RP. They're awesome. Yeah, and I, I'm going to nominate Team 1986, Team Titanium. Didn't have a great showing at the Heartland Regional, but I expect them to come back strong th this next week. All right, so we're running a bit over time, so we're going to have to go through these kind of quickly. But we'll have four exciting events happening next week. So why don't you start us off with Del Rio, Marco? Cool. Starting off with Del Rio, one of the last four remaining district events, home of the Pink-Headed Bunnies, Team 4063 Tricks are for Kids. 40 teams attending there. Um, Tricks are for Kids will be one of the main contenders. They've been at two events already. This will be their third. They've been finalists, quarter finalists, and chairman's awards winners so far, so they're looking to add to that resume. Uh, it'll be a defense-heavy tournament. Speaking of, 18-17, Yano Estacado Robo Raiders will be there. They've already made it to finals once this year, where they faced off uh, against 148 and 33-10, looking to dominate on defense. Really good hatch mechanism, smart drivers. And then also Texas Torque will make a second appearance um, who went to the finals as well, showed a nice level three climb and an increasingly accurate lift. So they will be a, a contender for the win as well as the chairman's award. All right. So this upcoming weekend, the Kansas City Regional, we will be going over state lines to Missouri. Uh, I think the top teams of this event are going to be 1730, 1806, 1986, 2410, 5801. A couple of those teams competed this last last weekend and are going to be hoping to continue the momentum. And I think some dark horses that I'm going to throw out there are 1810, 1982, and 1984. I, I really I really think they're on the uptick this year. 
Great. Thanks, Colin. So for our third event, we're heading to Canada, Louisiana, where 60 teams will battle, battle it out in the Swampy Marsh at the Bayou Regional. These 60 teams are from seven different states, and there are three international teams competing as well. Um, some teams to watch out for are 3937 Breakaway, winners of the 2017 Bayou Regional, 456 Siege Robotics, winner of the 2018 Bayou Regional, and 364 Team Fusion, winners of the 2019 Rocket, Rocket City Regional just last week. It'll definitely be exciting to see which team ends up on top, especially with a higher concentration of mid-tier teams. And I'm definitely interested to see the chairman's race as well, since Breakaway already won it at the Rock City Regional. So what's happening back down in Greenville? All right, finally tonight, let's preview what looks to be the toughest district event in the Lone Star State that we'll host all year. What more fitting stage could we have for this great event than the very place where champions are made? Greenville, Texas will be the destination for 42 teams at this district event. Taking part in the festivities will be four teams that already have a win under their belt. 3310 Blackhawk, Spectrum, 2468 Appreciate, and 5431 Titan Robotics. We'll also get our second look at several of other top teams, including the 3005 Robochargers, 5414 Paradox, 7179 Crossfire, and 4587 Jersey Voltage. By my count, there's at least five teams in this field that have shown a consistent level three HAB, which will make for some intense competitions in the standings. Anyway, it goes, we're sure to see some dynamite alliances formed, and the elimination, elimination rounds will sure prove a preview of what we can expect to see as Texas State champs in Austin. Given the quality of the teams at the event, the competition for the Chairman's Award will be no less fierce, as Appreciate, Paradox, Spectrum, and Titans will all be in contention. All right, uh, that's going to close out our previews for the week. Um, but before we close out the show, let's draw it for a winner for the first updates now uh, logo mug. Who's the lucky winner tonight, Tyler? Yeah, so winning uh, the first updates now mug for this show. And don't forget, we're giving away uh, during each of our shows for region recap uh, every Monday. So make sure you stop in and go check out tinyurl.com forward slash redfish robotics. And uh, winning uh, apparently for the fourth time this month, uh, Cadell5024. Congratulations uh, for getting the first update snow mug. Make sure you just reach out to me once again so we get your mailing information. And we have another mug uh, giveaway coming up on our next show, which is uh, starting in about eight minutes here. So congratulations to Cadell5024. All right, yeah, congratulations on winning the giveaway tonight. Um, so with that, we're going to conclude our show. Um, so thank you to everyone who has watched. If you want more FIRST Robotics in your life and like what we do, all we ask is that you let others know that this is the show to go to if you want more FIRST Robotics in your life. If you have a few bucks to share, we appreciate it. But if not, we totally understand, and we're delighted to have you on board. On behalf of myself, Marco, Colin, Jeff, and our producer, Tyler, I'd like to thank you for tuning in, and thank you for all our moderators in chat. Our next show is We the North. Talk to you next week on the Mouth of the South recap. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers, keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now.